Hey everybody, welcome back to Newegg TV. I'm Steve and today we're going to do an overview on this Galaxy GTX 760 overclocked video card. All right guys, here's everything that comes inside of the box. Let's start with these accessories first. Uh, first, they have a little warning for the customers to uh, go ahead and register your products. Friendly reminder from Galaxy. Then they give you a handy dandy setup guide here uh, to help you install everything and, and whatnot. So, move that off to the sign. And we have uh, the CDs uh, got, that comes inside will give you your drivers, but I do recommend going to either Galaxy's website or actually I would re highly recommend going to NVIDIA's website first and downloading the newest uh, drivers there. Uh, we also have a user guide and uh, a couple more things left. We have the uh, adapter to go from DVI to uh, VGA, so this way you can uh, use your older monitor if you have one. Uh, then we have a 4-pin Molex to a 6-pin uh, PCI uh, power supply, power adapter, excuse me. Another one as well. This is a 4-pin, two 4-pin two Molex to 6. Actually, the other one was an 8, excuse me, because I know you have to have an 8 and a 6 for this particular card. Let me go ahead and open up this card real quick for you. So you can see the back of the PCB here. It is black, as well as being able to see the uh, PCI Express Gen 3 uh, slot, as well, excuse me, uh, interface, as well as the two SLI fingers at the top. So this way you can do uh, up to four-way SLI if you should choose to do so. I'll flip it around to the uh, top here, and you can see uh, the power can be uh, plugged in here. You have the eight pin and the six pin. Um, PCI Express power and I'll just flip that around to show you the front of the card and we have uh, a dual fan set up with a massive fin array here and I believe it is yep it's four uh, four uh, heat pipes here to draw the heat off of the off of the card itself so let me flip it around you can see the IO here Let's see where the fins would be. Uh, well, actually, in this case, it's going to be blowing it every direction, not like the other versions that I've seen uh, that actually has the shroud. But you'll notice here the two DVI ports, as well as an HDMI port and a display port. And I'll flip it back around to the back again and talk about the core. Uh, in this particular case, we're still talking about a Kepler uh, GK104 uh, GPU. It is 28 nanometer process. And on that GPU, you're looking at 2.54 billion transistors. Uh, this particular uh, setup is using six SMX units, uh, those are the streaming multiprocessors, with a total of 192 CUDA cores. Uh, that gives you a grand total of 192 CUDA cores times six, uh, is 1,152 CUDA cores total. And we're going to have 96 texture units and 32 ROP units. Uh, this particular one is clocked base, the base clock is at 1058 uh, megahertz. Uh, up from the 980 megahertz that's on the reference board. Uh, then we're also looking at a uh, 1,110 uh, megahertz on the boost clock, as well as uh, that's an increase from the 1,033 of the reference boost clock. Uh, the memory clock is the same for both reference and this, this particular uh, PCB, excuse me, this particular 760, and that is at uh, 6,008 megahertz. Now it does have uh, two gigabytes of RAM on this particular card with a memory interface of 256-bit. Uh, uh, total memory bandwidth, we're looking at 192.26 gigabytes per second. Uh, that gives you, let's see, uh, I think the texture, the texture rate is something like 102.9 gig, uh, gigatexels per second. I do want to recommend that uh, you get uh, a 500 watt power supply minimum. That is that's actually what's recommended as well as notifying you that it is a 170 watt TDP uh, giving you a thermal, tr thermal threshold of 95 degrees Celsius. Uh, I also want to mention that this particular card has uh, H.264 encoding embedded in the pipeline. That will give you the ability to not only use it with a shield device if you end up getting one, just like all the other desktop Kepler GPUs, but also to be able to do what's called shadow play. It's a software that uh, NVIDIA developed that works a lot like uh, Fraps, where you'll be able to use the embedded H.264 encoding to actually encode and record videos to your hard drive with minimal impact to performance. 
Okay guys, that wraps up this video on the overview for Galaxy's GTX 760 Overclocked Edition. If you like what you saw today, go ahead and click the like button. If you haven't already done so, click subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon.